Robots to the rescue, facing severe staffing shortages due to the pandemic. Some hotels now turning to machines to help ease the workload. Robots can navigate the lobbies, hallways. The technology is so advanced they can even figure out the elevators. Correspondent Nancy Lou live for us in Hollywood. Nancy, how do the guests feel about the robots? They love them. And this is a trend that's set to grow in a big way due to the same labor shortage that's plaguing all sorts of industries. We are at the Dream Hollywood Hotel. This is Alfred the Robot, and he is quite an attraction. This is room service by Robot. Actually, this is Alfred delivering some toiletries, and he doesn't accept tips. He's a dream employee at the Dream Hollywood Hotel. Never calls in sick, never complains. Hotel GM Vaughn Davis says Alfred is a key staff member since guests prefer less contact. So you have the contactless safety portion of the guest journey and then the experience of it. So for us, it's a no brainer and that's why we added another robot. Alfred will be joined by a bigger bot friend later this month. Guests are impressed. So we call the front desk like, hey, we'll send Alfred. And me and my fiance looked at each other, Alfred. And then as soon as we opened the door, we've got this robot and just there greeting us with our food. It was amazing. Alfred actually, he supplements a tremendous amount of full-time equivalents for us that allows our team to still deliver an exceptional guest experience. Everybody understands that we need more automation to help with the labor shortage. Steve Cousins runs the company that runs the robots rented out to over 100 businesses nationwide. To him, the bots are improving, not replacing jobs. It makes the workers more valuable to the organization, allows them to earn a higher wage because they're not wasting their time doing tasks that are frankly beneath them. The Savio company is set to double its deployment of hotel robots across the country this year. Its newest Relay Plus model is bigger and better at handling elevators. Beyond hotels, bots are also picking up the slack in all kinds of industries. Here's your order. Please pick it up. A bunch of bots are in action in short-staffed restaurants. The U.S. Postal Service just added bots for sorting. Companies like Kroger and Amazon rely on bots at fulfillment centers. More bots are being developed and used for food service, and camera bots have been rolling around TV studios for years. But at hotels, many jobs remain protected. And there's no robots. We're not even close to robots that could change the linens, right? So housekeeping is still going to be, um, there's still going to be a lot of people involved. Now with service, robots more able to handle elevators and multiple floors, expect more machines to join the workforce soon in hospitals, in schools, construction sites, and beyond. Nicole, I have to send Alfred back to his regular duty because I have him working as my desk right now, but he does need to get back to work. Well, Nancy, it's all fun and games, so the evil bots take over the world. <laughs> But Alfred is very cute. <laughs> Nancy, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.